All right, guys, I'm turning the camera around. I'm at the same place. There's some guy down there walking the poodle. Look at his awkward arms. That's where people go. If you said everybody's holding the leash right. Not that I've ever seen. Uh, so I want you to understand there, there's no correct, correcting fortune. There's recreating another behavior. So that's what I'm going to do. I got here and he's just, well, he's not that concerned with me. He's like he lives at the house. I'm not that concerned. Oh, willing to make new friends. You know. So this is what we're going to do. And, and Lucy, this is what you need to do. And I know that what happens is that we think that we get to a point that the dog knows what heel is. But what we forget to take into account is these things are situational. And until we are situation dense, and in other words, it's we've applied this in every situation, then they don't really know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know that I can upload music to YouTube. I don't know that that doesn't work on Facebook. You know what I mean? I've got to figure out da, 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 various situations. So what you're going to do is always the subtask of heel is I don't want the leash made tight. And that's all I'm saying right now. All I'm saying is the subtask. And I, what this dog sees when I turn around is the back of a handler. I'm not trying to get the dog to heal or anything. I'm only looking at that subtask. And I do, I see the leash is all tangly, this and the other. And the only direction I'm turning is putting that dog out of my eye line. I see that dog every second. I'm not acting like I'm looking at it, but. speaking with this arm. This arm is indicating travel. This arm is bracing my pocket, using my pocket as a brace when it lurches. when he looked at me. When they look at you, you don't look bad. I, I purposely, everything you're doing, if you said you're not even, the hell I'm not. It's just like with kids, you're watching them every second, but you're pretending not to. myself to be interesting. If being interesting doesn't work, force yourself to be interesting. So I want you to do that if you get somewhere. This is what I do. I, hola. I pretend to speak Spanish. All my Spanish speaking friends will eat, bitch. All right, hang on, you guys. Let me hear. Okay, so that was all. And I was adding my pager a little bit, but now... If I want to start really, uh, and I've got my leash hooked to that electronic collar. And remember, this is a dog with no food drive. I need to adjust my box, but I'm very delicate. 
So what I've got now is a dog facing the inner concentric circle. We gotta, I'm gonna do a video, I'm gonna get Mike to send you that thing, Lucy, explaining the concentric circles. But if there's a very small circle around me and I can't get that dog facing me, that's not so I can stop. If you said, what did you do? This was the dog that gave me a refusal a few days ago. So when he defaulted to the down, I added the pager to the dynamic. I'm going to pick him up. That was my that was my pager. I don't like the way my leash is all twisted. Bowdy, that's my tight technical turn. Bowdy. So I'm falling back. The only thing I'm doing now is adding a command to I don't want the leash made tight. When he starts to go away. Bowdy. You see how I saved myself? I could have gotten in a lot of trouble if he went in there, Lucy. Lucy's like, she lives dangerously. Bowdy. There's my turn, boom. Very technical. Boom. And when his head went back, I kept holding it down. All right, let's see what my default is. Down. So I threw my command in when I saw it was going to happen. turn towards them. Here's my environmental turn towards them. Didn't notice there wasn't anywhere else to go. My turn away is very, very technical. It's right there. And the dog is speeding up. If I want to turn him away from something, I might want to do it fast. You see what my morning involves? Dodging people. Boom. Boom. And I'm lead lining the dog still. I've got the leash out in front of me. If you've got the leash right here, and you're walking, that's not good. and that's what I was talking about earlier in the week. And that's why you want to use food, Lucy, and that's why you want to train mechanically. Because what happens is, once his shoulder starts to go down, I want you to watch, it triggers the transmitters or whatever the thingamajig... Here, the thingamajigamawigs inside of them that make that muscle memory occur. So I want you to watch, and once it's down, I can make him kick his leg. Uh, it maybe doesn't have that much food dry, but he is eating the food. Bowdy. So I'm picking him up with the pager. So I'm just saying, that's where I started out. I'm better off to start out doing this little lead lining thing. I'm better off to start out doing that than say, well, I'll do a bunch of corrections for healing. Because what I'm saying to myself is, you know, the dog's got an understanding of healing, but that's really a complex thing. And it's very, very normal for dogs 
to have things be situational. towards me. And there he couldn't help himself. Once the sequence starts, it, they fall, it falls like dominoes. And right, I'm going to pick him up. Bounty! Travel, 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 travel. to have them off leash every second, but at least have the behavior that I can... Oh, don't worry, Jels, we're going straight to Norwoods. I'm putting you right to work. In fact, I've decided the best thing is for me to go on vacation while you stay at the house. I'll be live on Facebook every day telling you what to do, though, so I don't want you to worry, and you'll be safe there with all the dogs, so you don't have to worry. All right, guys, hang on. I'm going to be right back with one more episode.